Today we're gonna take a look at the latest version of Word Creator from Byte the Bytes. The software has been in beta since last February, with constant updates and bug fixes, and we got a chance to test it out. Between the new Biome Painter, Model Import, and Asset Library, this version makes building 3D landscapes and environments feel way more powerful, whilst being easier than ever. I'm not gonna lie, I've never used Word Creator extensively, mostly because I always had the feeling, I mean in the back of my mind, that it would be tough to learn, and even tougher to work with. I mean, just look at these environments, they are stunning, but kinda scream headache and long hours. However, I couldn't have been more wrong. The software is actually really simple to get into, compared to others in the industry, like Gaia, which I have used before. Word Creator is just easier to get up and running. This doesn't mean it isn't powerful though. If you know what you're doing, it can go super advanced, but the layer workflow makes it way easier to wrap your head around. It also helps that the UI is super clean and has a ton of documentation. So let's check some of the main new features in Word Creator 2025. For transparency, this video is sponsored by By The Bytes. In older versions of Word Creator, you had to stack filters, layers, and masks if you wanted to create something like a forest, a desert, or a snowy area. Blending them together took a lot of manual setup, and it often felt clunky. With 2025.1, the new biome system changes everything. A biome is basically a full ecosystem now, which can include its own materials, objects, and filters. You can paint these biomes directly onto your terrain, and Word Creator handles the blending in real time. Forests transition into deserts, snow collects at the peaks, and everything feels more natural, without you spending hours setting it up. Not only that, but the new Biome Painter makes the whole process interactive, letting you brush environments onto the landscape and see the results instantly. On top of that, biomes can now run their own simulations like sand, water, snow, debris, or even lava, which adds a ton of realism without extra work. You can also track multiple biome layers and use distribution rules to automatically spread them across your terrain. And if you ever feel like your whole scene needs to be scaled up or down, the new word scaler feature lets you resize everything in just a click, without having to redo or mess up all the work that you put in. Another exciting feature in this version that wasn't available before is the ability to bring your own 3D models like rocks, trees, or even for Magascan's assets and drop them straight into your world. Objects can be placed one by one for full control or painted across the terrain just like you would with Biome Painter. If you prefer automation, scattering can be procedural, following rules based on height, slope, or even noise patterns to break up repetition. What really pushes this further is that the objects are now fully integrated into biomes, so you can have forests or towns generated as part of your ecosystem instead of placing everything separately. Each object comes with customization options like size, displacement, blending with the rain, and even emissive properties for effects like glowing crystals or lava rocks. The system is built for performance too, capable of handling millions of scattered objects in real time without slowing you down. Not only that, importing heavy meshes does not tank your performance at all. I don't know what wizardry by the byte is employing here, but it just works. Even when you throw in a super heavy Quixel model that would normally cripple other software, Word Creator doesn't even flinch. And of course, everything you place or scatter can be exported one-on-one -on -one into engines and DCC software, such as Unity, Unreal, or even Blender, making it just as useful for real productions as it is for quick concepting. Another big change in this version is the completely new material system. So instead of juggling different types of materials, Everything is now unified. Colors, gradients, textures, even satellite maps and substance materials can all be blended together inside one single material. It makes the whole workflow a lot simpler. On top of that, materials now support emissive properties. You can pick a solid glow color or plug it emissive maps, which means things like lava flows, neon lights, or even sci-fi style glowing surfaces are now super easy to pull off. Adding your own materials is also smoother than before. You just pack everything into a zip archive or grab one from the internet and the Word Creator will automatically detect and assign the right maps for you, so you don't have to waste time setting them up manually. 
So when it comes to functionality, it is the same kind of convenience that you saw before. But the big improvement is that it works straight from compressed zips, which makes material libraries a lot easier to organize, in addition to being able to move around and import quickly. On top of that, blending between materials has been refined so that surfaces like rock meetings, grass, or snow on cliffs feel more natural and realistic right out of the box. Another welcome addition in this update is the new viewport denoiser. It helps clean up the ray trace viewport and makes it much more comfortable to work with. So if you're sick and tired of the noisy viewport, you will definitely want to keep this on. On top of that, there is now a simple camera animation tool. You just set the start and end point and Word Creator generates a smooth fly through of your landscape. It is basic for now but it is great for quick previews or showing off your terrains without jumping into another software. And of course, like any big update, this comes with plenty of smaller updates, in addition to improvements and fixes. One of the big highlights here is a new Blender Bridge plugin, which lets you export complete scenes directly into Blender. This makes the handoff ever so much smoother and gives you more flexibility if Blender is part of your workflow. Other updates include better tablet support, new export options, improvement to the path tool, two new terrain filters, lot support, and a lot of stability updates, which makes the whole experience much more reliable. Okay, here's another one that I think the right people will really appreciate. Support for GTI 5 modding. I'm sure plenty of people will find this super useful. I do actually wonder what's gonna happen when GTI 6 finally comes out, but I guess GTA 5 will still be a big deal for a long time. Either way, you now get support for GTI 5 modding, which means you can design maps in World Creator, send them through Blender, and then bring them into GTI 5 using Codewalker for use on 5M servers. I'm not really well versed in this stuff, but as far as I understand, this is how it works. Speaking of scattering assets, this update also comes with a solid starter pack, 140 high quality PBR material scans, and a collection of 3D models like rocks and vegetation to get you going right away. Everything is royalty free too. You can drop them straight into your projects without worrying about licensing issues. Finally, let's talk about licensing, because this is a pretty big change in this update. There is now a new studio license tier aimed at small teams and indie developers, which sits between the pro and the enterprise tiers. On top of that, for the first time ever, they're offering a lifetime license. You pay once and keep any future update at no cost. It is only available for a limited time though, so if you're interested, you will want to grab it quickly. So click the link in the description down below and check out Word Creator today. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also please subscribe to the channel to bring you more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.